Hello peeps, James Atkins here again from Agos Fishing Adventures. Now I'm making a short video of me going around Suffolk Water Park showing you all the lovely waters they've got there. But when you've watched the video, when you go down in the description of the video, there's a link, it's called TubeBuddy. Now if you're a filmmaker like myself, they're the people to see and go on their channel and they show you how to do stuff, all right? And it'll improve your channel loads. Well, hello peeps, that's James Atkins here. I'm gonna do a little uh, film like my mate does, uh, Scott Precious. He makes reckeys, what they call up north reckeys. So I'm gonna do one of Suffolk Water Park. So here we are. This is the shop, as you can see, obviously. Look at that, look, Suffolk Water Park. And this is the big lake where all the big fish come from. That's got some 40 plus pounders in there. I know that because my brother's had two of them. One at 40 pounds some odd. And there's one of the workmen there. And that's the lake as you can see. If I move around, I think that's 19 acres in total. And just here, as you can see, that is the waterfront diner. And that is awesome. I've had a full brekkie in there, and that's beautiful. Now yeah, there's one here for rent, look, didn't know that. Oh well. This is the big lake, what they call the big lake. I think it's pegged for 35 anglers around here. And they are huge fish in here, I know that, because I've seen them. My brother, I call, nickname him as well, my brother got one at 35 pound plus common carp, and he's had the mirror carp out here, they call three scale or two tone, that weighed 40 plus pound. See some fish moving over there. My favorite peg over there is 19 ACDC. Just before I started making videos, I had 50 bream off there and, and I think seven of them were over seven pounds. So that was a good weight I had there. You can't fish that side because that's the golf club. Still, let's go look in, quick look inside the shop. Right, let's go and have a look in the shop in case you come and you haven't got quite enough bait. They've actually got tons of it here and a lot of equipment. And if you're staying overnight, you can get all the drinks, look. My favorite, Stella Artois. All the snacks, all coffee machines, waters and baits, baits galore, look. Let's move around steady, because last time I done this, it all went blurry. All your additives, oh, there's heaps load of hats, Crocs, wellies, the whole lot here. Special green wafters, have to try some of them one day. And it's got all the baits here as well. And the radio going. All the floaties. Boilies for their big cart boys. All the clothing and the big fishies. PVA bags and stuff. All the gizmos for you cart boys. If I slow it down, you can see there. And now it's a lot of wafters and pop-ups. All the additives. Everything you can think of. Oh, that's another one I might let. Hemp oil. All your spod mixers. And that's for a friend of mine. Diamond white. Yeah, all right, so you got other bits and bobs all around, around the shop. All the small little wafters, bait tech, all the weights, even weights in the shape of so they look like stones. Let's try and con the barrel fishies. <laughs> right, and that's where you pay for your day ticket. All right, let's go and have a look at the other lakes. Well, I've come down to the other end of the complex. I'll show you the signboard here. Here we are. As you can see, the match lake one has pegged for 42 pegs. That's the peg I had to have a big old carp on the other day. And usually my favorite peg is 27. That's, I think that one's blocked off at the moment. Match lake two, I've fished pegged 50. I think, yeah, it's opposite my favorite. Bloke won the match on that when I was fishing on 50. That was a match day I come here. And match lake three, apparently they don't fish that one anymore. So here we are, 
Let's go down to one peg first before I move around the lake. Oh, hang on. See the sign. There we are, match lake one, the flagpole. Not a bad peg, I had a few bream off this the last time I fished this peg. Oh, what was that? Big old carp just launched around there, look. There we go again, just caught him on camera, brilliant. Let's see if we, there we go again, perfect timing. Is he gonna go again? Somebody fishing over there, hey? You should be fishing over here, mate. Right, let's go around and have another look around the other side. Here's another favourite of mine, the traditional lake, as you can see. Let's have a look down this side. I never fished this side. I fished over that side, over there. One of the hot pegs over there, apparently, is peg 19. There's somebody fishing over there. That was my peg I was in my last video. That peg there, 25. I was along that edge. That's pretty good. As you can see, that's the island. And that goes through there, peg 15. I fished on that peg once with my brother. So that's a nice lake, this one. It's got some 30 pluses in here. Right, I'm going to take you around here to the canal I haven't looked at before. Right, here's Match Lake 2. I'll show you that. I'll jump in the car, in the van rather, and I'll show you that. A couple of fishermen here. Let's see what's around this one, or who's around this one if you like. squeeze through here. Somebody fishing down there. As you can see, it's a narrowish lake. Not that narrow, that's a good 40 plus meters across. Because that goes between Match Lake 1, which is this side. It's my favorite peg down there. That one there, peg 27, there it is. And that's peg 50, 51. Right, I'll catch you in a minute at the canal. Just before I go by, look, you can see there's one called a training. That's where they train youngsters up to how to fish. It's a good idea, isn't it? Well, here we are on the canal, and there's a barge there. I think people live there. Lady Lay. Be meaning to fish this one day. One of these days I will. So we look down here off this peg. It's a bit on the clear side. They've done a lot of work on the bank over there. It's quite long, that's probably 200 odd yards long. Put the handle up so it. I've been quiet today. There we are, that's the canal. Right peeps, um, I've come to see a chap, Kevin his name, and he's on Bob's 30, look. And here he is. All right, Kevin, nice I hear you've had some fish today. Yeah, we've had uh, five between us, me and my mate Darren over there. Yeah, five? Yeah, five. What, what were the weights? 14, two 16s, just like one 16, just under 17, a 20 and a 19. Oh. That's good fishing, mate. Well done. I was here Tuesday and had half a dozen skimmers of bream. Uh, there you go. Well, that's my last luck. I was here. It's normally what I get here. Well, normally the bream mammon, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you like you? Well, because you cut boys don't like a bream much, do you? He's been teaching me up there, old mate, over there. And, um, 
Yeah, me first one was a bream and he wouldn't let me have a picture of it. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. How nasty of him. He do not want to be on film, so I won't turn around and see him, but there you go. <laughs> All right, then, boys. Well, that's good to see people here. Where are you from? From Ipswich, mate. Oh, only local. Right. Yeah, Ipswich boy, yeah. right -o. All right, then. Crazy. I'll film some more bits of the lake let's, let's hope we get some more this yeah, is the nice it's all right mate you're welcome Hi. there in the end here where all the leaves are look in the trad on bobs there you go right right i've moved next door to kevin's swim because he was in his mate's swim and he's here and what peg number is this one 29. oh it's 29 that's just down there look peg 29 and this is the one where he's had four fish out of Here's his new toys, look, he said they're new. Yeah, brand new, a month old. There you go, he said a month old. And he's got one, shall I show the secret spots? Yeah, why not, I don't care. He said he's had two under that tree no, there. Four. Four under that tree yeah. there. And one just put in front of the reeds. The, one, the other one he's had fish was over there in front of the reeds. Yeah. Just the left of that log. Well, well done, at least you found them anyway. Yeah. They're good old it's trad. It's Oh, I see him showing you, is it? Oh, your mate, he didn't want to be on film, but never mind. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. All right, let's go and have a look around the rest of the lake and see if anybody else has got anything. Right, peeps, I'm on one of my favourite old pegs over here, peg 19, where I had that big old nine pound common out of there, and I've had uh, one on that little bush tucked under here has all leaves on it then, and that weighed about seven or eight pound on the pole. They led me a merry dance on here. And there's two brothers fishing on this peg, look. There they are. I won't say what they've caught at the minute because they weren't very they're not very happy, but that's how it go, I'm afraid. What's your name over there, that one? Barry. That's Barry. Melvin. And that's Melvin, look. And they're brothers and they're fishing together, having a good old yarn. That's what fishing's all about. Oh. So I'll catch you in the next clip. I'll go and have a look around the other side. Right, here's a peg I fancied. Or always fancied I should say. And that is Peg 10, there's a young chap in it now. He's got his two rods out, one round that side, I think, one straight out by the looks of it. I always fancied this peg and I'll get across there and go round that island with a method feeder. It looks very inviting. We just see a carp out there just a little while ago, just surfaced. The main train track down as you can see. And this is the end of the film and it is uh, my little recce of the traditional lake. I'll show you the other lakes. So it's Agos Fishing Adventures saying bye bye for now.